time to strongholds youtube channel if you're new here make sure you have a look at some of the videos we've all already uploaded with lots of condition videos and helpful drills to help you learn different gymnastic skills and calisthenic skills today we're going to be going through some exercises you can do to help learn a straddle press to handstand So the first exercise I do are straddle butterflies. So you want to sit in a straddle position with your parallettes on the inside of your leg and then we're going to press to lift up our feet over the parallettes and back out again. So we're trying to work on our compression strength, leaning forward and squeezing your legs really tight. So I normally do this about 10 times. You can also do this individually, so with both hands over one leg this time, and again we're going to push and try and lift our leg over the parallel, like so, and again I would do this 10 times on each leg. After I've done the lifts up and down, I would also work on a static hold. So this time I'm going to try and push and hold my feet above the parallettes for 10 seconds. And again, I would do this individually on each leg. This exercise is great for strengthening your core muscles for working on the press to handstand. So we're going to try and combine three body shapes. The first one is a dish, so with your shoulders and feet off the floor. Then we're going to come up into a V and we're going to try and hold that shape. And then the third one we're going to try and push to lever. Back down and into the dish. Another drill that's really important for your straddle press or handstand is being able to hold the straddle lever position itself. So aim to try and hold this for 10 to 20 seconds at a time. This exercise is to help with controlling as you come out of the press to handstand, so the last part, the lowering phase. So we're going to start in a pike position, standing nice and tall with our shoulders leaning forwards, and then we're going to try and slowly lower down into the straddle lever from here. So you're going to take all the load on your shoulders and make sure you squeeze your legs nice and tight.
To help improve your shoulder strength or a press to handstand, we're going to do some pike push-ups. So you want to try and keep your hips as high above your head as possible as you bend your arms down and back up again. The lower your hips are, the easier the exercise is going to be. You might decide to try and lower down with your hips really high, but to push back up to begin with, you might need to keep your hips a bit lower or perhaps even bend your knees a little bit until you build the strength to do the whole skip. So to help work on the shape but all of a straddle press to handstand, um, it's good if you can jump through positions of the skill. So starting in a pike stand, jump to straddle and up to a straight handstand and then back down again through the straddle shape and to pike stand. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you find it useful. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any videos from our channel. And we hope to see you in the next one. Bye!